What's up, what's up, what's up, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, and welcome back to the live stream, where today we are going to do a tutorial of Seven Days to Die. I have uh, some very, very awesome people that are wanting to get into the Seven Days to Die game, and I realize that there might be quite a few people out there who have not played this game yet and would like to play and for those of y'all who have never played this game, it can be quite challenging right off the bat. So, I'm going to do a really quick opening tutorial just to get people started. Um, there will probably be more videos to come afterwards. And if you find this tutorial helpful, do me a big old favor and hit that like button, that subscribe button, and turn on notification bells. And leave a comment in the comment section letting me know how I did, if I did good, did bad, could use improvements, if you liked it, if it helped you out, so forth and so forth. And with that being said, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, let's get into this game. Um, like I said, uh, let's see if it's going to... This the, the one bad thing about the PC version that i found so far is that it loves to freeze up right here in this little opening section. But it, all you have to do is keep hitting it, and when it says, do you want to close this program or wait, you just hit wait, and it will eventually straighten itself out. You might not have that problem if you're on a console, or if your PC and internet connection are better than the one that I'm running, or if you just don't have that problem at all, uh, then that's great. But if you do have that problem, you're sitting there and you're trying to do this here where you're reading and reading, and all of a sudden the screen just stops moving and then it turns white and then all of a sudden you get that message come up saying if you want to close a program or wait for it just wait for it it will straighten itself out so seven days to die has been out for quite some time um and a couple of years um i'm not going to quite say five years i think it has been but it might be sooner or earlier than that um but <clears throat> this game has been out for quite some time and crazy enough, it's still in the alpha phase. It hadn't even made it to a full game yet, which is crazy. Crazy. I absolutely, and, and y'all, people who have been on my stream for a while now, they know, they've heard it, but if you're just now joining in, I love this game. Love this game. So we've set up everything, and in the beginning of the tutorial, whenever you start a new game, it gives you options to name your server and do a bunch of other stuff. You could tinker around with that. You can mess around with the settings if you want to. But I'm just going to start here and show you from here. So when you first start out on 7 Days and Die, get you this nice little thing that says, Dear friend, the wasteland can be an unforgiving place. I found you naked and left for dead with no supplies. It looks like you crossed the left. It looks like you crossed the Duke in a bad way, and you could use some help. Enclosed is a short guide to help you survive. If you complete it, we just might take in a new citizen. The White River Settlement, it's real, and it's safe. Peace be with you, friend, Noah. So you'll start out with that. Then it says basic survival in your active quests, the quest status is displayed on the objective tracker in the top right of the screen. For more information on quest, access your inventory and navigate to the quest menu. That's a little bit news. I don't know. I don't remember that last time. Anyway, so as you can see up in the top right corner over there, you have the version, which is Alpha 21.1, B16 version. Also, it shows you where I'm in the Pine Forest area, and it says craft a bedroll. And it, underneath that, it says, gather plant fiber, 0 out of 10. Press the left mouse button to pick punch grass to harvest plant fibers. Now, it's because I, I play on a PC, but it will be different for y'all if y'all play on consoles and stuff like that. Also, up in the middle of the screen right there, you have yourself a compass, the day you're on, and the time of the day. And over in the bottom left-hand corner over there, you have your weather situation, whether it's hot cold, mild, whatever, 
And you have your stamina, which is 100 out of 100, and your health, which is 100 out of 100 as well. In the middle right there, you have all of your items that you have in your hand that you can switch to between 1 and 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10. And underneath that, you have a green bar and a blue bar. And in all the years that I've been playing this game, I still don't know what the green and blue bar are. But right above the middle area right there where it shows the water and the food and all that, there's actually a progress bar. It also says new journal entry. Anything that happens like that will pop up right above that. So we are going to go ahead and get started with gathering plant fiber. So you just go over to it, you punch it, go ahead and it shows you over in the corner. I've gotten four, eight, whoop, I hit the dirt, and I've got all I need. Once you get all the items and that is used to craft the bedroll or whatever it is that asks you, it says craft bedroll. Press tab to open the crafting menu. Select the bedroll by pressing the right, the left mouse button from the crafting list. Press W to craft from the action list to start the crafting process. So we're going to hit the tab button. We're going to go over here. And as you can see at the beginning of the game, they kind of guide you through with this little exclamation part mark. And it says bedroll. Now up here you've got basics. I'm on the basics icon right here. Gives you all your basic stuff that you need right here. Bedroll, bandages, building blocks, campfire, primitive bow, secure stone chest, arrows, stone axe, stone spear, torch, wood club, and dew collector. New journal entry, range weapon, ammo statistics. And I will get to that in just a second. I'm going to try to squeeze as much as I can, so let's continue on. Right here, we've got building. This is everything you know need besides the bedroll here. This is everything you need to craft all the building materials that you want to craft to make yourself a base. Right here, we have resources. We've got cloth. we got cobblestone, duct tape, so forth and so forth. Right here, we have ammo and weapons. Gives you all your weapons, ammunition, so forth and so forth. As you can see, the pipe baton, pipe machine gun, pipe pistol, pipe rifle, pipe shotgun, and primitive bow are already unlocked for you right off the bat. All you have to do is be able to gather materials to make it. So that wasn't there when I first started the game. Next over, you have tools. Bucket, paintbrush, stone axe, shovel, advanced bellow, claw hammer, iron fire axe, iron pickaxe, iron shovel, and wrench. These are all the tools that you need to harvest and to build your base. Right here we have all of your food and cooking items and recipes. Right here we have science, which is all the stuff you need to make bandages, bicycles, uh, splits and so forth, wheels and all that good stuff. Right here we have clothing. This is your armor right here and some clothing just for cosmetic looks. Furniture and decor. You can put different decor and different furniture in your base once you get your base built right here in the top up here you have your icons and your little sections that you go to right now i'm on the hammer which is crafting i go one over and that's my character screen right here on my character screen it tells me what my name is what my level is death xp penalty protection and it gives me worn equipment it gives me core character stats and extended core character stats. Right over here, it tells me any kind of static effects I have whatsoever. If there's anything like death penalty, XTP penalty protection, so forth and so forth. Right here, we have ourselves a map. As you can see, there's our map right here. This is where we're at. And because I'm on PC, I don't know how it works on console. I do apologize. I can use the middle mouse wheel to zoom in and out. Right here we have skills. Skills are very important. Every single level that you get, you will get a point available right here. You get points by doing missions and by killing and crafting. Once you do, you can put one point into all of these, which will help you to get better weapons, better equipment, better vehicles, stuff like that. And you have different areas here. You have perception, strength, Fortitude, Agility, Intellect, 
and then you have an area where you can look at perk books. Perk books let you see that I have zero out of seven for this one, and these are the uh, stats that every one of these are have once you unlock it. So like adds a small chance to mine rare gems from ore. Also right here you have crafting skills. I have one out of whatever on all of these and over here it tells you what level you can make on the next level, what level you can make right now and once unlocked. Right now I have one of three skills under the skill tree so I can make a stone tool and you can go down the line and do it for all the rest of these right here's your active quests you can push the quest button and it says basic survival one out of eight tells you a little story about it tells you what you're doing and what you're looking for and actually gives you your objective i items right here and xp to chain reward for skill points 50 xp down here for the rewards Right here is the pen. The pen is your journal. You click on it and you can go through and read everything there is to know about what it is you're trying to do. Critical hits. If I click on it, I can read everything there is about critical hits. Same thing with stealth, armor, melee, so forth and so forth. And then right here is your players. This right here tells me that I'm on here. I'm a level one. Game stage one, no penalty, uh, no, no one in the party, no one allied to me, no voice, no one, I'm not any distance away, no, no map, so forth, so forth. This area is for anyone who plays with you on multiplayer. Once you get a friend in here, you send them a party invite and an alliance invite. Once you send them a party and alliance invite, when you go to your map, you can see them on the map, and it will be a different colored triangle. You can also see it on your mini-map up there in the middle. And you'll look around, look around, and there'll be a colored triangle right there wherever your friend is running around. All right, so let's move on. We're going to go ahead and craft the bed wall. You click on it, and you can either hit W to craft, or you can just click on it, the craft button. This tells you how many you can craft. Right now I can only craft one, and it'll take two seconds to make. I have my 10 out of 10 fibers to make the bedroll. And then you can go over the description, and the description will tell you what this item does. Now we're going to go ahead and hit the craft button. And the crafting is right down here in the corner. It tells you how, many more how much more time you got left on it, and what you're crafting. And any kind, anytime you break an item down, it will be in this area as it's breaking down so you can see what you're going to get. And then it moves over to your inventory. We'll get to that later. We're just doing basics. So what you'll do is you'll take your bedroll and you'll grab it and you'll drag it down to one of your slots down here. Um, once again, I do apologize for console players. I'm really not a console player. So I don't know how to get it from here to here on a controller i guess i could plug in my xbox controller and see so anyway i have it in there i have it in my inventory or in my hand basically and so what i'm going to do is i'm going to come up here and i'm going to put my bedroll in here oh damn it 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 Go away. Go away, shit. Hold on, guys. Let me get away from this dude. Alright, so they're wanting me to... At the beginning of the game, the game will help you out by putting those little yellow icons on things that you need to gather. Right now, it's telling me to make a stone axe, I need to gather plant fibers and gather wood and gather small stone. God dang it, you freaking bird. Go away. Please.
Jesus. Oh, you're going to get it. So once I've gathered all the items over here in the top right corner over here, then once again, it will say open the crafting menu by hitting tab to craft a stone axe. And once again, once I do hit tab, then you will see that the stone axe has a yellow exclamation point in it. You want to go ahead and do just like you did with the bedroll and click on it and click on craft. Now, once you do that, you hear the famous little noise, and it gives you another objective up in the corner, and explains to you what you need right there. Same thing, just over and over and over. So now we're going to go around, and we are going to get some more, and let's just get past, let's go ahead and get past this little section, because as we know, we, we can all do this. Alright, so clothing is a little bit different. Once you craft a piece of clothing, or you find a piece of armor, or whatever the case may be, you want to go up here to the second tab where it says character. You want to access the character right there, and you want to take your pants, and you want to put them in the pants item, in the pants area, which is right here at the bottom, second to the bottom. So you grab it, drag it, and drop it right there. Now I have a pair of pants on. All right. So, next next up, it's basically rinse and repeat for right now. So, gather wood. I'm at 1 at 5. Good news is I have a stone axe that's going to make it a lot easier. And at the beginning of this game, like I said, the game kind of helps you out a little bit by putting these little yellow symbols on the required items to craft whatever it is you're needing. So you go up to it, and you craft, and you hit it with your axe to be able to craft whatever it is you need to gather your wood and all that. Once you gather the material, you once again hit the tab button, or whatever the button is to open up your menu. I should have explained that a little bit better. And once again, the yellow exclamation mark on what it is that they're wanting you to craft. Once again, you click on it, and hit craft. Now, at this point, what I do is I go ahead and I move all of my stuff over. I put all this stuff that's not 100% useful right now a little bit further down. And I put all of my other stuff that is useful right up here. So now they're wanting me to craft a bow and arrow. And once again, off we go to try to gather our resources. At first, the game is kind of grindy, you know, grinding here, grinding there, but, you know, it is what it is to be able to get, you know, started. Um, console players, once again, I, I do apologize. I'm playing on PC. Um, for PC users, whenever you open up an item with E, you can go over to the item and hit Shift, Left Shift, and then click. And it'll automatically put it in your inventory. Or you can go and hit R. And R will take everything that's in the box or whatever it is that you're looting and put it in your inventory. Once you exit out by hitting tab, the item will disappear. Now we're going to go down here and we need to get more weapons. Or we need to get more feathers. And we need to get... All kinds of wood. And tin and gather plant fibers. So we'll just go ahead and hit that. Craft a primitive bow and primitive stone arrows. Once again, whatever it is to access your inventory, come over to prime uh, primitive bow. Hit the button. Hit craft. Which will craft your bow. Take your bow, put it down in your hot bar. Click on your arrows. Now, depending on how much materials you have, depends on how many arrows you can make. Right now, I can make one arrow. Well, one arrow is not going to do me much good, so I need to go running around finding more small stones. Small stones can be found just by on the ground right here, where you can pick them up. Or, if you have an axe like I do, you can go to a big area, big stone like this, and you can hit it. And as you see in the bottom right-hand corner, I'm gaining XP 
plus I'm gaining small stone. And I'm going to go ahead and harvest this whole entire thing here. The most important thing right now at the beginning of this game is to do whatever it takes to be able to um, finish up everything in the right corner, upper right corner, because you get four points to put into different items. And that's very important. Plus, it kind of starts you on the right direction. So I've gathered quite a bit of stone now. I have my wood and I have my feather. I would like a little bit more wood because I don't feel like that's going to be enough. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to chop on some more wood for a few minutes. Da -da 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 -da. Da -da -da -da. Okay, I have about 31 wood, as you can see in the bottom right-hand corner. So now instead of hitting one craft, one craft, one craft, one craft, go over here to this arrow here, hit over... I can make seven arrows with the equipment and the resources that I have. So I'm going to hit seven, and I'm going to hit craft. As you can see, it's counting down. Whenever you hover over something down here while it's crafting, or while it's breaking something down, you'll see a red X. That gives you the ability to stop the crafting or the breakdown of an item and I will get to breaking down items a little bit later so now what they want me to do is they want me to build this block I'm gonna go ahead and do just like normal click on it and hit craft I'm gonna take this block and I'm gonna put it over here by my axe and I'm gonna set the block down by hitting the button now once I do that they want me to upgrade the frame shape you go over to your axe that you made and for PC users you right click you upgrade it, and now it's upgraded. Now it tells me that I need to craft a campfire. When we're almost done, ladies and gentlemen, we're almost done. So I'm going to click on the craft, do the craft, take it, put it in my hot bar here, and place. Now, now it wants me to go over. Good job, Survivor. You have proved to be capable with much potential. We have marked your map with the nearest White River Outpost location. There will, there you will find a trader where you can buy and sell goods and trade stories with one of our friendly citizens. Welcome aboard Noah. So continue. As you can see, there is a yellow exclamation point telling me where I need to go. If I turn this way, you can see it at the top of the screen over by my middle navigation compass you can see it so basically when you see that you just turn 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 until you see where you're supposed to go where are you at i hear you where are you at there you are combating a zombie really quickly really quickly combating a zombie you go to him you wait you don't get hit you wait for him to swing back up Swing. Swing. I don't want to. And you just keep hitting him. And you hit him while he's down. Ow. Okay. I mean, if you get hit, fine. Just be careful. Try not to get hit too much. Alright. Once we get our main things done, we have four uh, points available. And we're heading over to the trader. So what you want to do now is you want to hit the tab button to pull up your inventory go over to the skills icon hit the skills and as you can see bah, 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 i have points available for what i like to do is because i like shotguns i love shotguns and stuff like that so what i want to do is two different things here i go over to the strength and right here where it says minor 69er, the very important, very, very important skill to have. So I'll hit my attribute strength. I will go over here to where the shopping cart is, and I will buy it for one point. That also gives me the ability to start crafting and putting points into Boomstick, which is also shotguns. 
So I want to add one to the shotguns. I have one going into the Miner 69er. I have one going into the Pack Mule. And then I have one into the Strength Attribute. So now that we've done all of that, we can hit Tab or whatever the button is to exit out. And we can head towards the trader. Now for me, for me, I am on PC, so I can hit left shift, and I can run whatever it is on console. I'm not sure. <laughs> I do have a controller, and I might, if, if y'all like these tutorial videos, I might plug in my controller to be able to try to help y'all out with playing this game on a controller. This game has been out for quite some time, quite a few years, and I absolutely love this game. I love this game. I can spend hours on this game. Even though there's not a storyline to it, there's just hours and hours of entertainment just running around, killing zombies, building defenses, surviving horde nights, stuff like that. And it's even more fun when you have friends to join you. Ah, oh, you big booty head. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Get down. Get down. Now, when this game first started, the zombies, you used to loot the zombies. You used to jump off in there and actually be able to loot the zombies. Nowadays, it's different. Nowadays, they drop loot bags, and it's off and on that you might get a loot bag and you might not. As you all can see in the bottom left-hand corner, whenever I shift to run, you can see that my stamina is constantly running down. You always want to keep some stamina. Especially whenever you have to fight. Because you never know when a zombie is going to pop out at you. So you have to try to keep a little bit of stamina. Keep your eye on the health bar down there. And where that jacket is, that's where all your static effects are. So you definitely want to keep your eyes on that as well. Because one little mistake could cost you everything. I met the trader. I met the trader. I met the trader. And as y'all can see, jumping also takes your stamina. Alright, so we're going to go in here. And we're going to go to the trader. Be nice and shut the door. Now, before you go in and talk to the trader... You can actually loot stuff around here. So just walk around the outside of the trader. Look around. Go up to places. Mm. Let's see. Let me see if I find anything. Anything in the barrel? Nothing in the burning barrel. Car. Aha! Car. Car. So you go up to a car, you hit E or hit whatever action button it is, and as you can see, there are three items that are in this truck. Console players, you can grab and drag to each individual item, or there might be a button on the controller that will actually take all. PC players, just hit R, and it takes everything. As you can see, empty blue pickup truck. So now we know that this is looted. You can go over to barrels and do the same thing. And you can go around and just grab stuff as much as possible. All you who are just now joining us, I appreciate y'all. Welcome to the live stream. We are doing a 7 Days to Die beginning tutorial for those people who want to play this game and have never played this game. This game is a very difficult uh, game to start out with. It's very easy to die. Like, very easy to die. So, this is kind of like a beginning tutorial. I'm going to try to put as much information as I can within a 30-minute span. Um, I might run over 30 minutes. I might be less than 30 minutes. Hopefully, uh, we will get the 30 minutes in. All I'm doing is running around. I'm here at the trader. I'm running around grabbing every kind of loot I can possibly find. What's going on, Chris? Uh, welcome to the live stream. 
I'm going to go on here and we are going to... On these here are books. These books give you the ability to learn different items. Be able to do like cement mixers, chemistry stations, stuff like that. That's what this book does. Forge ahead. So any kind of book that you see, if the icon in the top right, top left corner of the book is closed, it means that you have not read this item yet. And if it's open, it means you have right, written, written, blah, read it. So what you do is you click on it and you hit use. Now you can hit one if you want, or you can hit both of them. I like to hit both of them because I like to read as much as humanly possible uh, to try to gain as much knowledge as possible, as fast as possible. And as you can see, Unlocked Workstation Tier 1. That's from reading four books of Forge Ahead. I was able to unlock the workstation. All right, go over here, grab all this. Da, 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 da. Oh, look at there. Look, you see, I got a loot, and the loot had a pipe machine gun in it. So I'm going to take that, and I'm going to put that there. Pipe machine guns take seven, six, two rounds, which I have 15. So when you get the gun, as you can see in the bottom right-hand corner, I have 15 in the clip, but none in the chamber. So I'm going to hit the reload button whatever it is for controller, and R for PC. I'm going to go ahead and reload this. Now, word of caution to anyone who has a gun that's starting out. If you do not have a suppressor, if you shoot that gun, you will attract other zombies around you. And if you continue to shoot the gun, then you will continue to have zombies come up around you. And next thing you know, you will have a horde, and you will be fighting for a while. So, rule of thumb is, shoot the gun under certain circumstances. And that's like dire circumstances. But, dang, look at that. I got a freaking shotgun. Jesus Christ. Put that up there. I don't have any shotgun shells, though. But that's two items that I don't have to craft now. And they're actually tier twos. So, there, even if I could craft them right now, I could only craft Tier 1. Those are pre Tier 2, so I'm already ahead of the game. Now, along your journey in this world, that's a post-apocalyptic world, zombie world, you will run across vending machines. These vending machines have stuff like drinks and food that cost casino tokens. Casino tokens are little little tokens that you use that you would use at a casino that is the current currency in this world the more casino tokens you have the more stuff you can buy I could have used some damn shotgun ammo that would have been great but no that's okay all right so now we have pretty much looted up everything so we're going to go down here and we're going to go into the trader Oof. Give me the books. Give me the books. Yes, I can read books. Go on here. This one here helps you with cooking. Read that. This one right here helps you with armor and I think weapons too? Question mark. Anything you like? Uh I'd like you not to speak right now because I'm kind of busy. That's what I would like. This one is for tools, and this one is for explosives and magazines. Tier 1 pipe bomb. Brr, yeah. Brr. Oh, God, yeah. All right, so now we're going to go over here and wait. Let me make sure I can't, can't, can't interact with that. All right, so now that we're here, now we're going to go, do you have any jobs? We're going to go over here, and we will do a quest these are all tier one quests to start out with and what i like to do is i like to start out with the ones that are closest to me now this is not apparently in america because it goes by meters instead of miles so we're going to go to 274 meters southeast uh, uh, i can do that all right so, if you want to, you go, may I see your inventory? And you can see all of 
the things that he has to sell or to, to sell to you or you can go over here and click on an item and you can hit the sell button right here to sell to him and get casino tokens we don't have any money so what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and leave and we're going to go on this adventure that he's sending us on this is going to be a clear the area so what we're going to do is we are going to find our exclamation mark right there or you can hit m scale backwards and you can find it right there you can set a waypoint with whatever button it allows you to set a waypoint for or you can just leave it like this and you can run out here and just run to it. Where are you at? Where are you at? There you are. Let me dunk you in the head, fool. Dip, dip, potato chip, dip, dip, potato chip. Alright, let me loot, loot this. Uh, I don't really use these. If y'all want to, y'all can. These are for crafting stuff. It's, it's a crafting material. I don't use them for anything, so I just, you know, drop them. Um, mailboxes are good to check. Mailboxes usually have... Uh, paper or books to read. So, starting out, you don't want to... All the boxes on bottom is for inventory. By the way, it allows you to have more. Yes, so, these right here that are white, that are all white and everything, you can use right now to start out with. And let me get a let me get a better let me get something dark. Okay, so all of these you can start out with these all you start you know that you can use right now. These right here that have that on there these are ones that you can open up. And you open these up by getting more skill points and putting them into pack mule. Pack mule allows you to carry more. Now starting out. I wouldn't recommend looting up everything right away, but uh, because you just you do have a limited space, and uh, there's a lot of stuff. I could sit here for the next four hours or more, going into every one of these houses, looting up everything in all these houses, and I would be encumbered, over encumbered, like immediately. Well, I don't have a base yet. I don't have a box to put my stuff in or anything like that. So, logically, I wouldn't go and loot everything you can possibly get your hands on just yet. Alright, so a little thing about missions real fast. Just to kind of get y'all started on your first mission. Once you get there, I'm pretty sure the exclamation point will be around the front of the house. Let me go look real quick. Yeah, so... You have to hit this to activate the mission. But, a little workaround, you don't want to hit it right off the bat. You want to come to it, you want to find it, and you want to loot this house up first. You want to loot everything out of this house that you possibly can. Because, what the hell is going on with this thing? Anyway, once you loot everything in this house and you hit that button, it resets everything. So you can double loot an area whenever you have a mission attached to it. And of course, every I have mine set for every three days all the loot comes back anyway. So, uh, I don't use rotten meat yet. I do need bone though. Uh, mm, mm, get rid of that. I hear you. I hear you. Don't think I don't hear you. I'm not ignoring you. I just know that you can't mess with me right now.
Itch. Get out. Huh. Okay, so when you got something like, I want to get up there. And right now, I can't get to it. So, you go over here into your inventory. You build you blocks. I'm going to say, I'm going to build 10 of them. You take these blocks, you put them in your hot bar. You go to them. And when it turns white, you hit the button to place. And you hit it again. And now I'm up. Ooh, yes. It's called nerd polling. So you want a nerd pole so that you can get to places that you can't reach. Alright, these are loot crates. Every single house has a stash area. Every house has a stash area. And you want to find it. Because the stash is usually pretty damn good. So, on those boxes like those, you break them open, you hit E, you get your inventory. Go over here. Oh, look at all these books. Read, 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 read. Alright, I'm done here. So now once I'm done, because of the type of boxes that I placed, I can pick them back up and take them with me. Damn, it's getting nighttime. I hear you. I knew I heard you. Schmack. Schmack, crack a pop. Alright, I am going. Oh, I don't have a flashlight either. Jesus, this is not good. Okay. Over in the bottom left-hand corner, you can see that it says I was hungry. The bottom left-hand corner over there has a symbol of a plate with a fork and a knife. That means you're hungry. You hit the tab button or whatever button it is that you use to get into your inventory, and you find the items that you can eat. Like, I have an old sham sandwich times two. It's not really... You really kind of don't want to eat them, but if you have to, you have to. And the stats are food 15, health negative 5, it'll actually bring your health down 5, max stamina boost no, and dense, uh, dysentery 12%. So it's going to make me sick by 12%, but I'm hungry and I got nothing else to eat. So I have to use it. You eat it, and you eat it again. And as you can see in the bottom right, left hand corner over there, the white plate with the fork and the knife means that I am no longer hungry and I'm actually eating. Same thing with the water, but the water will be a water drop, as you might assume. Always check behind paintings because sometimes behind paintings you can find stuff in a little cubby hole. Name of the game, man. Name of the game. Loot, loot, loot. Oh, there's a pumpkin. Oh, thank you, Mr. Pumpkin. Don't hit me. Stop hitting me. Eh, I don't want that yet. Did I still take it? I did. Get out of there. Oh, I hear you. Oh, I hear you. Another rule of thumb, really, really, really good rule of thumb, stay as quiet as possible. Use bow and arrows, use clubs, use batons, use whatever you can to stay as quiet as possible. Because the more noise you make, the more zombies are attracted to it. Oh yeah, I got me some lockpicks. Lockpicks in the house. Ha, <laughs> right? I'm gonna take that pumpkin. You can pick up stuff from the houses too, like the potted plants. And you can put it in your house. But 
it's decoration it takes up space it takes up weight all that stuff like that I normally don't mess with them you stop it you stop it you stop it Jeez. some of the boxes that you find are gonna be already busted open and all you have to do is go up to search them and get the rewards out of them and welcome in everybody uh, from YouTube and from Twitch welcome in this is seven days to die tutorial for the ladies and gentlemen that want to learn to play this game it's a very very fun very time-consuming game that uh, can be hard Uh, the club is a very good start out weapon. Um, it's part of the beginning tutorials up in the top left corner over there. But if you ever need to know how to make a club, you hit your menu button to open up your inventory. You go over to weapons and ammo. You go down and find the club, which is right here, the wooden club. You click on it, and it tells you you only need five wood. So you get you five wood and you hit craft and you can make the the um the club. Later on you can add mods to this club to make it a flaming club, or you can actually put bob wire on stuff like baseball bats, which you can make, you know, baseball bats later. You can make pipe batons, you can make all this stuff right off the bat, uh, all the way down to a stone spear, stone sledge, hammer, pipe shotgun, rifle, all that. And all this is all open. If it has a padlock beside it, it means that you have not learned it yet, or you have not unlocked it yet. So, um, all the stuff that doesn't have anything over here, you can make. Which, by the way, I'm going to make a bone shiv. Bone shivs are good, because when you get to um, the point in the game where you kill a squirrel, or a rabbit, or a dog, or something like that, you use the bone shiv to skin it and get meat hide and animal fat and more bones and to make that you just need bones you need five of them craft so forth so forth pretty self-explanatory on that um damn it is dark shit uh uh shit get back get back get back Ooh, shit, son. I do not like being out here in the night. At night, I hate being out here at night. Toilets. Always search toilets. Most of the time, they have murky water, which later on, whenever you have your base and your fire pits, you can turn murky water into water, and you can drink it, and you won't get sick. Oh no. Ooh, I might have to go loud. Oh, I might have to go loud. I know what's up there. Oh god. Get 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 up. Get up. Get up. Get up. There. Uh. Now, you can either grab this t-shirt and wear it as kind of like a cosmetic skin, or you can take it, click on it, and hit scrap. Once you hit scrap, it will turn it into something. Like, see, like it'll turn it into cloth. So now I have 37 cloth. Oh, please. Oh, I knew it! Oh, I knew it! Oh, I knew it! Oh! Oh, shit, shit, shit.
I found the loot room. This is the loot room. And now we go to work. Book! Stone Sledgehammer Quality 2. Now from, from reading these books, I can now use a level 2 or make a level 2 stone hammer. So I go over to the hammer... And now I can see right here, I can make a level 2 instead of a level 1. Which, of course, you know, just like every other game, a level 2 is better than a level 1. I am thirsty, thirsty, thirsty boy. I am a thirsty boy. As you can see, these are all your static effects over here. And as you can see, this little guy right here, first of all, I'm drinking... I've got 10 more seconds of drinking. I've got a bonus for protection because I just started out in the game. So they give you a... Uh, thank you. <laughs> I, they give you a bonus for your start out. But here is showing that I'm over encumbered by, tw by, uh, by uh, tw uh, so many slots. Like I I'm now at 12. So let's see. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9... 18. Yeah, so I'm over -cumbered. God, I don't like being over -cumbered, especially at nighttime. That's like the worst thing to do. Shit. Um, I'm trying to make this for tutorial, and I'm screwing up. Okay, so now you see that I'm completely over -cumbered. I got no more room, but I want these two items. You don't need crushed sand right now. Crushed sand is not important. Neither is uh, cement. You don't need cement right now. So now I've got two more e empty spots that I can put those in. Go over here. Go to your character screen. Take this. Put this on legs. Now I've got some leg armor and i got some ar arm armor. And let me open up this. Open this up, and books. More books. More books! Alright, now, all of that, watch what's going to happen. Go down here. Guess what? Now I get to do all that over again. <sighs> okay, let's start out here. Let's start out here in the shed. See the different car? It's a different car now. Because it all resetted once I started that mission. Ooh, yeah, buddy. I got me a repair kit. All right, and we all know what's up here, don't we? We all know what's up here. So, I'm gonna take this. We'll put the we'll put it on the, the bandages. That's fine. I'll come over here. And we'll go over and get our our crates back. Now I can do a wrench quality run one. So now I can do a wrench. Oh, I want that mod. Um, beer. Beer. I've never liked beer. Like it just doesn't do anything for you in this game that I know of. Ow! 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 Bitch! Ugh. Oh god. Really? Really? Damn it, I missed. Gotcha. No, 
get off my deer. No, 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 no. No, get off my deer. Get off my deer. Get, 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 get. Uh, let's see. Uh, let me get rid of paper. Let me get rid of lights. Uh, fiber. Okay. I get me some daggum meat and some fat and some hide. Bam! Oh yeah. Okay. Um. Man, dude, I really need. Uh, I got. I got to do this. I got to finish this. Oh. Oh no. Uh, scrap. Uh, man, I do not like being in here at dark at night. Oh my god, please. Oh, I don't like being in here. Ah. Uh. Uh, corn bed and goldenrod tea, and I leveled up and got another skill point. So I will go over here, and I will put this in to my. Hmm, I can't put any more there. I can put one more in pack meal. Let's put one more in. Uh, let's do minor 69er. Minor 69er is more important. Oh, God. Oh, God, please. Oh, I knew it. Oh! Oh! oh. Woo! Woo! Bust your head, fool! Ah, oh, coffee beans. I don't need coffee beans. Did I get that one in here? No. Now, nah, dude. All right. We are going to continue. Ugh. Okay. So really quickly before i keep going as you can see in the top of right top right corner is my objective clear the area stay uh clear the area is x and stay within the within basically within the area is uh with a green check so what's gonna happen you know ideally what's gonna happen is once i clear out all the zombies in this house then it will tell me and, and direct me back to the trader to turn in the mission. And if you leave the area, or whatever the case, you will fail it and you will have to do it all over again. Oh God. Oh no, oh no, 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 Ugh. I'm hungry, I'm hungry. Oh my god, please. Okay, woo! I am living on the edge right now, ladies and gentlemen. Living on the edge. Such the luggage. Cold resistance four, heat resistant ten point six. 
Eek. Um. Oh, God. Uh. I don't want that. Okay, you know what? I'm gonna take it. I'm gonna take it and I'm going to wear it. Oh, I'm just styling and profiling. Ha <laughs> ha! Loof one's head. Classic. I know you're in there. Oh, you almost got... Oh! Oh! Uh, another little crafting secret as well is if you need any kind of fabric, like cloth or anything like that, um, like cloth fragments and all, a really good thing is to break down beds and stuff. They give you a lot of cloth fragments. So that's another thing. If you have something you're trying to craft or something that you need to craft really quickly and uh you have no cloth fragments then that will do it for you oh get off of it oh get off of it oh get off of it oh man they they run because it's nighttime so they run now Ugh. no paper I don't want any paper right now. I don't want any beer either. Ugh. Alright. Uh, I don't have any shotguns. I'm going to have to go loud. Because we know what's waiting up here. See, now up in the top right-hand corner where it says clear area, return the trader, 253 meters, talk to the trader, excellent. So it means I have cleared this area, it is clear, I have completed my objective, but, oh, it's daytime. 401 is daytime. But I'm going to continue because we all know that right past this door is a loot area. Ugh. Open this up. Take that. Ugh. Um, food is three. Health is one. Okay, pumpkins no good. Doesn't help at all. Uh, corn. Food is two. Health is one. It's out of here. Um, egg. Food is five and two, not good enough. It's out of here. Shotgun shells! Oh, uh, where's this paper? Get out. Reload. Now, let me just give y'all a heads up. The pipe rifle and the pipe shotgun best believe that you better have some wiggle room because it takes forever to flip and reload and if you're having to reload in front of a horde of zombies and it only shoots one shot at a time best believe you're probably gonna get screwed up just just fyi you're probably gonna get hurt and possibly die. So I would probably suggest not doing it. Um, and, and and of course, you know, if um, if for some reason that you know you you don't have to use it, like if there's any way around not having to use it, go for it. Do not use it, man. Just don't. Just just stay quiet. Do your thing and keep rolling.
All right. Now we are done. We are going to go trade, turn in our stuff at the trader. And we might we might sell some of this stuff as well. Let's go here. Let's look in the mailbox real fast. All right. Back to the traders. Oh, God, I'm so encumbered that I'm running really slow. Uh, oh, God. Ooh, I'm pretty sure my stream is laggy as shit. I do apologize for that, too, by the way. Oh, that's right. He don't he don't open till six oh five or six oh four. Oh God, come on. Waiting for him to open. Taking his time. Just wanting to open when he feels like it. Oh, Trader Joe. Uh. Open up your doors for me. So I can trade in this mission and show the people how to play this game. Play this game. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Thanks, Trader Joel, you old rusty bastard. Howdy. You've made my day. Oh, uh, you made my day, sir. Um, 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 six twos look like right now. Where are my seven six two rounds? Well, I guess if I'm going to keep using that gun, I might as well get 60, 7, 6, 2 round. You need to clean up some inventory space. And Listen. Listen. Thank you. Yes, let me sh let me sell you some stuff. Um, I am going to sell you this. I'm going to keep that. Uh, I'm going to sell you this, of course, because that currency is no longer worth anything. Okay, I think that's it. I think that's all I'm gonna do. Y'all come back now. You shut your mouth. Shut. Shut. 
Get that shit! All right. So, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, we're going to go ahead and stop there. I said it was going to be 30 minutes. It wound up being an hour and 12 minutes because, like I said, and like I have stated numerous of times, this game you will get lost in. You will totally get lost in it. You're not going to want to stop, so forth and so forth. We're inside the trader. Um, once the trader closes, it'll kick us out. It, it, I, I don't think that it does it while you're offline. But if it does, it'll just throw me out right there, and I'll be okay. So we're going to go ahead and stop this little tutorial right here, and uh, we're, we'll pick it up next time. If y'all do like this and you want to see more, y'all go ahead and leave in the comment section that uh, you want to see some more of this. If there's something that I can do better, please allow me to uh, the opportunity to go ahead and try it. Y'all leave a comment, let me know what I can do better. Uh, and if you do enjoy this, do me a big old huge favor and hit that like button, that subscribe button, and turn on notification bell so that you can get more videos as I go live. I have a bunch of different gameplays of different games on my channel. I do have some VR games closer to the bottom of the list. I have some vacation videos and some motorcycle videos and stuff like that. I would like to get into the VR a little bit more. Um, I'll, I'm going to try that. I have some more of this game coming up uh, playing, whether it be more tutorial or whether it be my actual game that I play uh, on my server. Um, we have Skull and Bones coming up soon. If anybody uh, would like to see that, I'm going to get that. Also, uh, in the comments, let me know if you want me to play Starfield. Um, I, You're welcome, Chris. You're very welcome. Um, I've been thinking about playing it, but I'm not 100% sure yet. Um, but if you really want to see some Starfield gameplay and you would like to see me play it, you know, y'all let me know and I'll try to get it so that we can play it and you can, you know, enjoy the, the videos and all. So, with that being said, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, hopefully you had a wonderful day today and you're going to have a safe and wonderful night tonight. And hopefully you have a wonderful and safe day tomorrow at work or whatever it is you're doing and with that being said ladies and gentlemen boys and girls we'll see y'all on the next one peace out